What's up, everybody? Moni Moicano here, and today we will have a podcast, a little interview with the man of the YouTube MMA guru. What's up, MMA guru? How are you doing, my brother? I'm doing good. Good to see you. It's me, the hmm. pig. Very good to see you. It's dude. you, the fat pig. But yes, did, hey, you guru. Say, did you say fat pig or hmm. pig? Which one was hmm. pig? Hmm. Pig. I, okay, cool. fat pig. Okay, I cool. should, but I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. No, okay. I'm kidding, my brother. But let me mm -hmm. tell you something. I'm I'm going to tell you why I was mad at you. A lot of people don't know, or maybe they don't. Maybe they know because you you tell them. But mm -hmm. you messaged me saying I would lose to Dub, and I think <sighs> that was on Tuesday, right? Oh my. Yeah, on fight week. On fight week, and I was man, I don't believe. And and, yeah. and I and I even talked to 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 my editor, and I say, Guru, message me. And you know what is crazy? What when when I was warming up, I was thinking about man, and maybe Guru think I'm going to lose. Do you believe that? I was thinking about that, brother. I I'm rent free, rent free, yeah, rent head. free. After that, the editor said to me, he's rent free on your head. And I said, this mother hmm. think I'm going to lose, brother. And yeah. I was mad. But in the end of the day, everything went fine. Mm -hmm. the, I saw you, you, your takes about the fight. What what were your takes about the fight against Dobe? Um, It wasn't the most exciting fight in the world. It wasn't a war. Like, it wasn't crazy fight of the night bonus type fight. But... You won. You know what I mean? You won. And Doba messed up in the third round. I thought you got the first round easy. I was, I thought he was going to win. I thought Doba was going to win. Not, Why? Why? Um, I think my take was that if you had momentum and confidence, then you would beat him. But after the such long time off, I thought Doba's terrifying guy to come back against after a terrifying. year off you know what i mean terrifying guy um yeah. but then i didn't think enough about the fact that you could grapple him and dagestani him for three rounds you know i have been wrestling a long time and maybe mm -hmm. guru i want to talk a lot about uh about the stuff but you 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 seems pretty reasonable like you seem like you know mma have you been training mma um, I, don't, I don't train I saw, mma no. i saw you doing pads but, yeah i was but, doing boxing but why you don't do MMA? Why you don't train MMA? Because I don't need to train MMA. Why not? Because I got this small nose. This nose is easy to break, brother. One punch, this nose is breaking. I don't know. I don't need to take the damage, man. I, I don't know. I, I do YouTube. I make but money off YouTube, you know? Yeah, but why you do boxing? Uh, because uh, it's just easy money. Go to fight these influencers in boxing. These YouTubers yeah, so, take so them out, make some money. So you planning to do YouTube boxing? If they offer me good money, of course. How much is good money? I don't know. How much is good money? I think I'd do it for 100K. 100K? Mm -hmm. That's 100K. good money. That's, That's very good, good money. Very if good you, money. Like if they offer you 50K, you, you're not fighting boxing? It depends who they're If they're offering me a big name, I want more money. I don't want to be ripped off by whoever's yeah. giving me the offer. But yeah. if they offer me like a... An easy fight. I'll take it for 50K. And, easy. and do you think that's realistic? Do you think they're going to offer you to fight 100K? No. No, I don't. I think they're going to tell me to go fuck myself. But I think you have to set your standards higher. Of course. And of then course. they will try and meet your standards. Even if it's lower, you still have to say, to begin with, it has to be a higher number, you know? So so let me ask you something. When do you start to, to watch MMA? Um, I started to watch MMA... I always knew about it because I used to do taekwondo, um, and then did you did you compete in, in taekwondo? I did compete in taekwondo. Yeah, as a kid. how how you you were good? No, I wasn't good. I wasn't good. I lose. My older brother was good. Yeah, so he was very good. He's older than me, better than me. Um, but I used to go. I sometimes I'd win, sometimes I'd lose. Fifty fifty, you know. Yeah, and, and, and but how you discover MMA? So you start in Taekwondo, and then mm -hmm. how you change to MMA to watch MMA? I saw highlights on YouTube, highlights online of uh, GSP, Nick Diaz, you know Anderson yeah. Silva. These guys. That's my generation because I'm only 25. Yeah, so that, you, that was my man, you're young. You're young. Mm -hmm. 25. Who who is your favorite uh, fighter of all times? Of all time, I, I had a five year phase where I really liked Vicente Luque. Yeah, one of and, my favorite fighters. I saw that on the on the clip with Sean Mali, right? 
And I thought yeah. that was that was a good that was a good pick because not many people, and and that's when I realized that you know MMA because mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like if you if you say a guy like uh, very high profile, right? Yeah, Conor it's, McGregor. You, it's like casual, you know? but yeah. when you say when you say Vicente Luque, solid take down defense, good grappling, uh, mm -hmm. a, a monster a knockout power. Uh, and I thought, okay, this guy know what he's talking about. Yeah. I'm so, really fun to watch. Every fight he has is really, really fun. Like you have to your, see Vicente Luque fight. What is your favorite fight of Vicente Luque? Ah, oh, there's so many. The Brian Barberena fight was really good. He was losing, right? That fight. He was losing the fight, and then he came back at the end and won. But it was almost fun because he was losing because Barberena doesn't have crazy power, so he was he was taking a bunch of shots. But he was yeah. landing big shots back. That was a great. That was a great fight. Uh, but look, to 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 say that you have Vicente Luque fan, I'm uh, I'm pretty sure you not start watching MMA and being Vicente Luque fan. Who is no. the first guy that you say, man, that's nice. I want to watch the guy. Anthony Pettis, Donald Anthony Cerrone. Pettis, these names yeah. these on names. UFC or WC. Uh, when he head kicked Benson Henderson off the cage. WC, right? Yeah. Then I start watching, but then he goes over to the UFC afterwards, and then. How, how old were you yeah. at the time? I don't even know. I can't remember how old I was. I must have been a teenager, young teenager, maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so Anthony Pat Showtime Pat is right from from mm -hmm. the WC. Showtime. That's awesome, my brother. That that's awesome. And let me and let me ask you something. When when do you realize that you could make a living off this? Because obviously you're doing good on YouTube. When you realize when when you st uh, start to make money and to make a living off it. Um, I, I've been doing the YouTube thing for five and a half years. So I started in 2018, October 2018. And then after like two years, I was making no money. No Uploading money. Uploading videos, no money, no viewers. I used to watch my own videos for views. No viewers, no nothing. And then after two years, I started to get some. And I started to make like a couple hundred at the end of the month. So I was, I was still working full time. What, what was your work before? I used to deliver furniture. You know furniture? furniture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I used to and, and Guru, like what is your name? Nobody knows your name, right? I'm, I'm not saying my name. You're not saying your name? No, no, no. Why not? Because they, the internet is crazy, crazy the place. Is cra but it, yeah. I mean, if you don't see your last name, it's okay, right? Just your first name. No, nah, they don't know. They know. Yeah, no, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to confirm anything. They already okay. know, but I don't want to confirm it. But okay, so, so people, yeah. people already know. Yeah, the like, internet is crazy. They know. They somehow know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so at this time, you were like uh, working a regular job and doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. Part time. But, but, but I saw your old videos, and you were you were different, right? Very different. You... Very shy, nervous. Yeah. All of that. What, yeah. what changed? What changed? It, success. Basically, I was scared that my friends in real life would find the channel. Of course. So when yeah. it had no viewers, I was like, hmm. if they find this, I'm going to get bullied into yeah. stopping doing it. They're going to bully me, you know? Yeah. Um, but if it has views and I have subscribers, then it was like, okay, I'm proud of the channel now, you know? Yes. Whereas, of whereas back then I was ashamed of doing it for two years with no success, you know? Man, it was the same thing with me. When I first fought MMA, I don't tell nobody because mm. what if I lose, right? What yep. if I lose my first fight? I don't want to see anybody lose. Maybe the channel is the same, but yep. but. Let, and then let once me... you realize you're good, you're more okay with people viewing and and yeah. watching your fights and so stuff. So when you watch old videos, you you like to watch old videos of yours, or you feel uncomfortable? Oh, no, I cringe. It's yeah. fucking stupid. I'm terrible, terrible. You've seen the old videos. You watched them, right? Yes, I was terrible, watched. dude. I'm not I even looking at the camera. I'm like this the whole time, looking off to the side. It's it's so bad. It makes me cringe. But I like keeping them there because it shows the progression of the channel. Of course, of mm. course. And, and because I want to, I want to understand that because I I don't think people still don't realize the power of YouTube, right? No, they don't. YouTube is is such a powerful tool. Because you can get a guy like you, right, that doesn't mm -hmm. have any background in MMA and watch a lot of uh, of MMA content. And, mm -hmm. and, and then you can connect with another people like you. Because, yeah. I mean, your fan base is huge, right? Yeah, big fan base, big fan base. Do, do you think you are the, the, the biggest 
uh, MMA outside, like, uh, let's say, uh, legacy media? Do you think corporate you, media? Yeah, corporate media. Do you yeah. think you're the biggest one? I think it's me, and you know the weasel. Yes, I know the weasel, yeah. but he doesn't show his face, right? I know. So I'm I'm the biggest one who shows themselves as a person, you know. But the weasel was just talking with pictures on the screen. So I'd say I'm yeah. the biggest as a person outside of the corporate ESPN and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, and what do what you think about Weasel? Uh I think he's biased sometimes. I called him out a few times. We've had some beef online. Yeah. Um, but I think he's good. You know, he's doing his thing. I, I see it as like I don't really care if we have differences. He's making money, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's hustling on the side. Yes. Like <laughs> Yeah. Even if I disagree with him, I still have to respect that he's hustling the system, you know, making some some views, some money. Yes. And, and I, I, who do you think is the best fighter from the UK of all times? Do you of have a fight? Time. Yeah. Do you, do you have a fight from Europe that you like? Um, and why? Bisping was a legend. Do you Legendary. still consider him? Because you guys have some beef, right? We have beef. I, I think he's... I think he, I mean, he's a world champion. I have to respect him, but I think sometimes he gets in his feelings a little bit about things. Yeah. A little bit. And, and do you respect your fighters? Because sometimes I, I see you trashing fighters. No, I know. I do. I do. Listen, I trash fighters, not because I hate them, because back in the day, I used to have money on these guys. Okay. And I used to have a parlay and then they would mess up the parlay and I'd say, you mother, you stupid fucker. Yeah. Why did you go for that takedown or... You know what I mean? Why did you do this? So I'd be angry at fighters. So I have disrespected fighters before, but it's but, fun. But you know what? I, mean, I feel I feel like uh, you were the first guy that uh, brings something different. And, and, and I'm being honest with you because most of the, the, the other guys that, that follow MMA, they want to be all respectful with fighters yeah. and stuff. And, and sometimes f fighters, they, are, they think they are something different than people right they think mm. they are above people above people yeah above people they think ah, because i'm fighting i'm better than you or something like that and mm -hmm. and, and the audience that you have i think uh it's just awesome but let me tell you something i want to ask you about ufc 298 yeah volkanovsky to puria yeah? volkanovsky to pura and i want to ask you about ufc 300 of course this okay. card is not the best right pfizer and the other guy Oh, they're terrible. I, the cards have been terrible recently. They're terrible, man. Apex brother. cards, terrible. terrible. What do you think about the main event of last, last week? Ima Marv and the other mother. Listen, if it was on the prelims, I would be okay with it, but it shouldn't be on the main event. Main the event, card. that's just main event is crazy. unbelievable. Crazy. Unbelievable to have a... Yep. The Apex is such a disgrace for, yep. for, for UFC. It so, is. No so, crowd, no nothing. It's terrible. No, it's terrible. Let me ask you, Alexander Volkanovsky and Ilya Topuria, what's your take on the fight? Oh, Ilya Topuria, I think, is going to get him. Yeah. I think he's going to get him. Do you think he's going to beat Volkanovsky? Mm -hmm. It's tough to say, but I, I do think he beats Volkanovsky. Yeah, I think now's the time. Now's the time for Volk to lose again. Now's the time, but who Topuria beat less? He beat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who he beat. Of course, I know, it matters. I know, of I know. course it matters. He it matters jo a little bit. Josh Emmett, what, right? Yeah. And Josh Emmett sucks. I right? know. But, but Abbas Magomedov sucks, and Sean Strickland beat Israel Adesanya. Yeah, that's true. And Nate Diaz suck. Respect, but sucks. Suck. Now yeah. sucks anyway. He used to be good, but now he sucks a bit. Um, I'm going to get beaten up by Nate Diaz at some point. But yeah, he sucks a little bit. Um, and Leon Edwards, everyone said, oh, you got rocked in round five against Nate Diaz. And then he beats Usman twice, you know? Yeah. So with these goats of a division, when they build up this resume, you can't even compare resume. Like, Superior can't compare with Volkanovski's resume, but I think style-wise, he doesn't style compare, wise, he can win. He doesn't compare the resume, but let me tell you something. Alexander Volkanovski is not a regular fighter. He beat no. Jose Aldo. He beat... Uh, Max Holloway three times, right? Mm -hmm, he beat mm -hmm. everybody. I, and I think the wrestling, Ilya Topura doesn't he, haven't faced a wrestler yet. So it's not going to be an easy fight for Topura. And Alexander Volkanovski can clinch him, can put him on the cage. I think Ilya Topuria is going to, like, he's going to be strong, really strong. He showed he was strong against Bryce Mitchell. Mitchell kept shooting takedowns on him. He stuffed the takedowns. Then Bryce he Mitchell is Mitchell. a jiu jitsu guy. Mitchell is not a wrestler. I know. 
but it's still like he can he grapple though he can dominate edson barboza on the ground you know like, yeah i was surprised with MMA. that i was surprised yeah, with that same i thought barboza was going to be a problem for him but i was i was, I was very barboza. i was very surprised with that yeah. uh but let me tell you something in what about ufc 300 what you think ufc 300 so far um <laughs> Have you seen my videos raging about UFC 300 getting angry about it? No, I didn't see. Okay. So, so you I'm, already Yeah. I mean it's good, but it's not in my opinion it should be more. We need something big in the main event, you know? And what's the main event that if you if you could make a main event, what were, what w was the main event? What would uh, be the main event? And after Moicano versus Paddy Pimlet, dude, main event now. UFC 300 now. That, nah, it, nah, 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 that's not going to work, nah, man. Nah, nah. Um, no, they'd have to, if they want to sell pay-per-views, they have to either make Hamzat Chimeyev, Israel Adesanya, or Conor McGregor, Michael Chandler as the main nah, event. Fuck but, there's no, but there's no belts yeah. on the line, so I don't know if they can do that. That's the problem. And si since you ask, what, what, what do you think about Paddy Pimlet? Give, give the, give... Give me the breakdown of his abilities. What do you think he's going to do on the lightweight? And, and what do you think about the fight Moicano and Paddy Pimblet? Okay. Let me tell you what I think about Paddy Pimblet. So. And let me tell you something. If I get this fight, yeah, Paddy Pimblet, I, I give you one ticket to go to, to watch the fight, especially in London, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. If it's in London. Yeah. That, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. I think they're going to London in July as well, maybe. So yeah. that would be good. But either way, do I have to pick you to get the ticket? No, of course okay, not. Cool. Okay. Of course All right. not. All right, we'll see. Um, yeah, anyway, I would, I would pick you to win against Paddy Pimlet. I think Paddy Pimlet's game, he's a scrappy, tough fighter. So he's a fighter and his jujitsu is good. He does have a jujitsu, yeah. But the problem he has is when you have really good jujitsu, you need something else. Like Oliveira has really dangerous striking, you know? So he can make people shoot on him or he can knock people down and then submit them. But Pimlet, he has really good jujitsu, but he doesn't have the wrestling to take people down and he doesn't have the striking to make people have to shoot on him as much, you know? And the cardio. What about the cardio? The cardio is a little bit suspect as well. Getting tired against Tony Ferguson in a three-rounder is... Yeah. I know, it's, I know it's Tony Ferguson, but he was... The whole time he was on top, you know? So it's yeah. like, what, what are we tired for here? But... You know, I think he's good, but I just think he doesn't have the striking of it's the lightweight division, you know? Very difficult division. Do you think the lightweight division is the hardest? Which one do you think is the hardest one? Um, I think lightweight is the most dangerous. I think bantamweight is the most skilled division. Really? Yeah, bantamweight is why? Why? Skilled. Just the Man, scrambles. I disagree with you. You disagree. One, yeah, of course. 135. How many wrestlers do you see on 35? Marab, Aljo, Umar Namagamedov. These are good wrestlers, good grapplers. Yeah, but m most of the fight, they don't, they don't, m let's, let's take Merab. Merab mm -hmm. is a different fight because he, yeah, he yeah. put, and, but other than that, how many times you see they controlling fights on the ground is mostly striking in 135. But isn't that because the strikers are so good at defending the takedowns? Like there's no striker at bantamweight that has no ground game, you know? A lot of them can defend takedowns or... Oh, maybe because the fighters doesn't have that that solid wrestling offense. Okay. okay, maybe, maybe. I don't know. This is the debate, right? I just yeah. think bantamweight, especially striking, bantamweight striking is the nicest to watch. Really? Yeah. Tell me, I know you're going to say Peter Young, but other than Peter Young, who is a striker that you like to watch? Sean O'Malley is Sean nice Malley. to watch. Corey Sandhagen. Corey Sandhagen. That's These guys true. are great strikers. Davidson Figueredo moved up. He looked good yeah. against Rob Font. He's really good. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. 135 has some, some... But I don't know why. I don't like to watch too much 135. Why? Because they're too small? I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I like 170. 170 okay. is a good division. Yeah. Right? But 170 is kind of like... Uh, well, maybe now it's really good because it's got Shavka and Jack De La Madalena and guys like that. But it used to be just 155 is moving up, you know? Yeah, like Kevin Lee. Oh, like Kevin, Kevin Lee, Lee 170. Well, he wants to come back, you know? He said he's unretired coming back for Tony Ferguson. I saw that. And, and what yeah. do you think about Bo Nico? Because we were talking about divisions and 185, no wrestlers at all. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Bo Nico could be champion? 
Yeah, he could be champion if he takes his time. But he has to take his time. I think he needs to take some time. Because he has wrestling, but it's it's different to finish a fight, you know? You have to have the jiu-jitsu level to finish. I know you train with him, so you must know more than we know about him, right? A little bit. He, he doesn't really come here very often. And, oh, okay. And I never trained with him, you know? Okay. But, okay. but let, let me ask you another thing. Talking, I was just remember about Paddy Pimblich. So, do, do you think they, they would do Moicano versus Paddy Pimblich? I think, think they would. I think that's they would. a realistic fight. Very realistic fight. I think the fact Man, that I he replied to you. Fight. I, I wish they I make the fight. That's going to be amazing, bro. Yeah. He doesn't reply to nearly anyone. So the fact that he replied to your message means that you've got a good chance of winning the fight. Very and, good chance. And uh, let's uh, let me ask you another thing. If they do, if they don't make that fight against Moicano, who do you think they're going to match up him next? Um, the next best matchup would be Dan Hooker. For him, that's winnable for him, I think. Dude, yeah, I don't think, think he would win. Him. No, he's not going to win. He's I don't think win. he'll win. This is the problem with Paddy Pimlet. I don't think he's going to win, but they have to give him the best chance. You know, Like Bobby Green. Bobby Green is a good fight. Yeah, but the thing is with Bobby Green, he's coming off of a loss. And he's got a fight at UFC 300 as well against Jim Miller. Yeah, so do you think, kinda, he, he's, do you think he's, he's winning that Jim Miller fight? Hmm. I think maybe. But Jim Miller's still got it. He's an old man, but he's still got testosterone, like your dad, you know? Yeah. Like a kid at 62. <laughs> old yeah, man, but still got the I'm testosterone. I'm going to Brazil you know? to, to, to see my dad, 62 years old. The mother hmm. is crazy, my brother. Are you going today? You're catching a flight today, right? Tomorrow. 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 Okay, that's tomorrow. crazy, dude. That's crazy, bro. That is that's very crazy. crazy. He needs to calm down. You need to tell him to calm down. Yeah, my brother. No, and, and his wife is younger than me. So, so so he's crazy. Like, bro. He's very he's, crazy guy. Yeah, but, but man, I, I'm, one day I'm gonna show him on the YouTube. He's a he's he's a very he doesn't speak English, but he's oh, okay. But he's, he's a character. A character, man. If you if you yeah. if you see my everybody loves him. Everybody mm -hmm. loves him. Mm -hmm. he, he's nice. Uh, but let me let me keep you asking the the, the questions. Guru, yeah, sure, I got time. If you. Would you want? Would you fight a fighter? If you could fight somebody in MMA, who would who would be uh, a fighter mm. that you don't like? But 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 I'm not saying you're gonna beat him. You you no, guys no. going to fight? I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna get hmm. fucked up, obviously. But who would I get hmm. fucked up by? Yeah, I'd risk. Greg. Yeah, true for the money for the money. But um, I don't know. I might have to secretly train boxing and then Jake pull these mother hmm. when they retire. Jake you know? Paul, yeah, man. yeah. Yeah. Jake pulled them. Wait, wait until they're 40 years old. Yeah. Box for a few years and then lure them in with money, you know? Yeah, yeah. They they broke, they don't know how to. And, and let mm -hmm. me ask you another thing. So you you're getting good money every month, right? What you do with your money? I not I'm 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 being smart with my money. Very yeah? smart with my you money. You invest? Very. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm I have done one, but I'm gonna continue investing more. Yeah. Do you own Bitcoin? What coin? Bitcoin. Oh, okay. Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. No, I don't own any Bitcoin. No, none of that. No. No. Because I think those investments, let's talk money on the yeah. Money Moicano show. Yeah. I think those investments, you need to understand them. You know, you need to study them. Yeah. Like it needs to be almost like a part-time job to invest in stuff like that. You need to always be focused. Every day you check up or every other day you check up on stuff. I think people my age, they leave their money in Bitcoin and then just guess, you know? Yes. Put yes. it in this. I forget it. I'll come back in four weeks and check if it's gone up or down. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't do that. I'm I'm, I'm going to invest in property. Property? Uh, real estate? Yeah. Do you have your own house? Did you bought your own house? I'm renting this house, but, um, but only because YouTube is not trustworthy money. What you mean? Mm, I could be irrelevant in two years. Okay, because you don't know the future, right? Yeah. You so mean? I don't want to buy a house and then have a mortgage and then have all of this money I owe, and then all of a sudden YouTube stops paying me money. You know. But uh, it's good that you that you you talk about that because I saw a video about a year ago. You talking about the other YouTube, right? Kimura. I don't remember. Oh, I don't yeah. remember his name. That that guy used to be famous. He used to get really good views, but then he stopped uploading. He started partying a bit, I think. I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know. He'll probably make a video about this. 
Yeah. Um, he sort of stopped uploading as much. He lost motivation on YouTube to upload. And then it, his channel just went so down, down, down. since you know a lot of YouTube, if you could give advice on people that want to, to grow their they channel, what would be your advice? Best advice is to stop asking for advice and just do it. A lot of these guys uh, in my chat, in my chat room, everybody always asks me, give me advice on how to start a YouTube channel. And like, dude, I did it for three years for like barely any money. You have to put in the time. Obviously, you're different because you're famous. You're famous. And, 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 and no, I'm not that famous. But the, 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 my my thing with YouTube, I, 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 I like it. I'm not doing for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, exactly. You know, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not doing for money because I don't make any money on YouTube. But you must you, make some. You make some money. Uh, not real money. Not real not, money. Okay, I don't know how much you're making against Doba, but you definitely make. How much do some. you think I make against Doba? How much do I think you made against Dober? Yeah. Okay. And then you say higher or lower. What? And then you tell me higher or lower. Okay. Yeah? Okay. okay. I think you made. Hmm. I reckon you made quarter million against uh, Drew Dober. Quarter million? How much is a quarter million? Two hundred and fifty thousand. You you're right. <laughs> you you you. I know things, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You you're right. So but, yeah, but but my my point is not that. My my point is is one day I want to make money off YouTube, but I know now is mm. not the point because I cannot do that every every. But mm. but my problem with with YouTube is that, so so let's say I stop one month, I gonna lose the traction of the channel. It depends how you, it works. You have to be relevant constantly so if you if you don't make any noise for three weeks four weeks you will dip a little bit but you can come back but the, the thing is with you though you're i think you're okay to take a little bit of a month because you're fighting that's why you would take time off right yes it's because yes. you have a fight coming up so when you have a fight you're going to get a bunch of attention anyway after the fight right yeah after the fight but for other people if they take four weeks off and come back with a regular boring video then they're not going to keep any viewers you have to be Every day you're competing. Uh, let me get serious. Every day you're competing with the same market. You know, there is an audience of MMA viewers on YouTube. And there is a bunch of other channels. Lucas Tracy is one of the channels as well. That's doing pretty good right now. One of the smaller channels, but he's getting like a big size channel. Um, but you're all competing for the same viewers, you know? Yes. And you're all just going to take a different share of the same 1 million people that would watch MMA YouTube. You know? Okay. So, so do you really think everybody's competing about viewers? I think so. I think there's one mark. There's one audience, very niche audience, very small audience, MMA YouTube, and uh, everyone kind of competes for a percentage of that audience. You know? Because people can only watch so many videos. You know, they've got jobs yeah. and stuff. They can't watch for ten yeah. hours a day everyone's videos. You know? And, and let me ask you another thing. So, so when you home. You on you do you watch youtube like, yeah and if you're not watching mma what you watching on youtube i mainly watch mma stuff but if i don't i just watch general generic youtube i can look at my um recommended now like um, oh stuff or something like that no 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 that's disrespectful How no i'm asking because you say you could jake Paul this mother <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm using it as a saying, you know? You know how he waited till they retired to beat him up. But, yeah, I know yeah. about Jake Paul, but I don't know. Sometimes I watch NBA. Nowadays, I'm kind of into NBA a little bit. NBA? Yeah, I'm a tall guy, so I like NBA. I, Do you play I used any to, sports? Do you play any sports? Uh, not right now, but I used to play a lot of sports at school and stuff and around that time. But not anymore. Now I just do this for the money. For the money, yeah. For the that's, big money. That's awesome. For the money. young money as well. How much, how much do you... How much money do you think Paddy Pimblich is making? What in fighting? Yeah. Um he 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 does okay on YouTube, right? He he he, he does okay on YouTube, yeah. He probably gets some good money on YouTube. I reckon he gets about 10 it, he might get sponsors, but I think he probably gets about 10k a month on a YouTube. Month? Yeah, that's good. It's all right. In, in a fight, in, in the fight. In a fight. The thing is with Paddy, he doesn't have many fights, you know? Yeah. So he maybe he's on first fights. or second contract, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's on, hmm, what are the UFC paying Paddy Pimlet? Yeah. 
Do you think I've... he got like pay per view money or something like that? No, no, not yet. No, maybe now he'll get pay per view, but before, no, because he hadn't beaten anyone. He beat what Jordan Levitt and yeah. some of these other guys. I saw you roasting jail. Yeah, yeah, no, Ch Ch he deserved it, dude. Chael he was deserved waffling. it. Yeah, he deserved. <laughs> he deserved, remember? He really did, dude. He was saying he fought elite competition. I'm like, yeah, what? elite competition, brother. Paddy Pimblet doesn't fuck Crazy. nobody. And, and let me tell you something. I'm, I'm not losing to Paddy Pimblet. I can no. bet a million dollars. I, okay. I'm not losing to <laughs> Paddy Pimblet. If I lose to Paddy Pimblet, I stop the sport, remember? I yeah. stop and I become YouTuber full time. Full time, as a sh and you'd be ashamed if you lost to Paddy Pimblet, though. Of course, that'd be tough because I think he, you know, I think if you can survive Drew Dober on the feet, you can survive Paddy Pimlet. And Pimlet just doesn't have a way to get you to the ground. What's Pimlet yeah. gonna double leg you, Moicano? Is that what yeah. is that what's gonna happen? No, no that, way is he gonna double leg you. That's that's not happening. That's no not way. happening. No way. So I reckon you would beat Pimlet. And then if you get on the microphone afterwards against Super, that would be crazy, right? That, crazy. that would be crazy. If you go yeah. for Moicano on the mic. Yeah, of course. I, we have to. Have, we have to go to. for Moicano. Yeah. After. Hey, hey, MMA Guru, let me tell you something. Uh, I have to go now. I have a lot of stuff to 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 do. I'm I'm flying tomorrow. But thank you so much yep. that you're taking the time to it's all good. to to help us the podcast and mm -hmm. and I I have to say I respect what you're doing on YouTube. And I I respect your content, okay, my brother. You so the hustle, even yeah, if you of don't course, my brother. My opinion, yeah. Now I I respect your opinion, even when you say uh, you're going to lose to Dudobe. I don't care. This is yeah. fighting. You can have your opinion. I just don't want to debate you on on, on my fight week. week. On yeah, fight I week. get it. I get yeah, it. I get it. You know because mm -hmm. I'm losing like 15 pounds and I'm going to uh, the webcam and and debate you about how I'm not going to lose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So but you, you played it smart though because you got annoyed. You'd call me out on the post fight, and now I'm on your channel. You were supposed to be on my channel. Doing yeah, an but, interview. but 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 and now you, you help... guilt trip me onto your channel. But I get it. It's all good. No, thank you so much. Like, uh, and, and if you need me, just let me know. Okay. I, uh, mm -hmm. and, and again, I respect what you're doing. And thank you so much for being here on the podcast. Okay. One more thing before I go though. Next time you're on Ariel Hawani's show. You you have to mention me to him, brother. You I will. To. It will I get will. so many views if you I do. will. Yeah, okay. what do you think he's going to do? What Ariel? Yeah. He'll probably go, Oh, come on, shut up, Moicano. He'll probably get he'll get annoyed and try to move on, I think. No, but nervous. but but so, so next time I will say, Hey Ariel, do you know about MMA Guru? And just let's me, see. Yeah, just bring me up and then I bet you he'll have a funny reaction to it. Definitely. Nice. Definitely. Because I think he's scared of me. Yeah, why is that? A little bit, because I I call him out on some bullshit that he had a while ago, and he couldn't respond because it was right. He he had some bullshit interview. You know, Ariel. Sometimes he. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know. Like I I know, especially because, uh, like you say, and you are re like, I like what you say about Lucas Trace, right? Because you say his competition, but he's doing a good job, right? Yeah. So yeah. you have to wreck on him, right? So mm. uh, next time I will bring MMA Guru and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a clip that gets a lot of views, I bet you. Yeah. But keep doing it. Keep doing it. You're doing a good thing playing the uh, YouTube game. I'm You're trying. smart. Smart guy. It's hard to tell when someone speaks a different language if they're smart or not, you know? If they're clever. Ah, okay. Of course, because my English is trash. Broken English, yes. <laughs> Broken English. Yeah. But let me tell you something. In, in Portuguese, I'm very smart. The genius in Portuguese, bro. I'm very, I'm very smart in Portuguese, yeah. you know. But in English, it's very hard to to tell what I want because I don't know the hmm. language. But yep. two two years from now, I'm going to be good because every day I'm learning five minutes. Every day I'm trying to learn five yeah. minutes. That's good. That's good. Anyway, thank you anyway, for having me on. Thank you so much. That I, I'm going to I'm going to post this on my channel and uh, thank you so much for you being here. Okay, Guru. Let me know sure. uh, if you if you need something.